Hello everybody, it is Bazinga here, and today I'm bringing you a player comparison video. Um, today I'm going to be comparing the two Lavezzi's that are out at the moment. The old Lavezzi who plays for Napoli, and his upped card recently moved to PSG. So uh, let's get on with it, and I'll show you how much he's worth on the market. I'll show you how much both cards are worth, and uh, I'll see you over there in a second, guys. Right, hello guys, I'm back. And as you can see, I have the old Lavezzi card up on the screen at the moment. I've searched in the 3-4-3 formation because that is the formation I am using him in with my team at the moment. So as you can see, his average price is around 3k. Every now and then you get the outlier at 5k as you can just see there. And you get the odd ones at just below 3k around 2,400 as you can see there. So I'd say his price is around 2,400 to around 3,000 or just a tad more. So if we go over and search for his... Um, uh, PSG card, as you can see, his price is actually ridiculously high. Although he has an upped card, it's gone from an 85 to an 86, and m many of his stats have gone up. His price is a bit stupid. It's ranging from around 17k, 16k there, as you can see, to around 20k. That one's 25k. I don't think anyone's going to buy that. So, yeah, as you can see, his price has quite considerably gone up with his new card. So, uh, I'll see you guys in the next part where I will be showing you his in-game stats compared to his old in-game stats. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in a second. Right, I'm back guys and I'm in-game stats now. And first of all, starting off with the 85 rated Lovetsy. We'll start off on his player information. He isn't the tallest of players, he's a 5 for 8 player. And uh, he can play in either the left wing, right wing or the centre forward role. His preferred foot is the right foot as you can see. He has a 4 star weak foot which is fantastic for cutting on the inside on either side. And he has 5 star skill moves which is obviously lovely for the skillers out there. I'm not a skiller personally myself but you know. So we'll move on to his physical attributes and as you can see they are surprisingly good for an 80 for his 85 card and they're even better for his 86 card. So as you can see acceleration, agility, balance, reaction, sprint speed and stamina all up in the high bright greens which is lovely for a player. And uh, the only things that let him down are his jumping and his strength. His strength is okay I suppose for a 74 but his jumping at a 62 is probably because he's a, one of the smaller players. So we can let him off for that. Moving over to his mental attributes. As you can see, his aggression is 81. Uh, I think that's, I think he's that good in FIFA. I'm not too sure. I've never really known what aggression really does in FIFA. But, oh well, it's, it's a high stat. <laughs> and then his attacking position is 82. And his vision is 81, which is obviously perfect for an attacking player. Always in the right position. And has the vision to pick out those lovely passes which supply the goal scorer. So moving on to his skill attributes. As you can see, one of his best stats is actually dribbling and ball control. He has... Some of the best dribbling in this game I've ever seen. Easy gets past players, especially with Air Japes' slalom dribble tutorial. Absolutely insane. His free kicks on this game also are absolutely amazing. And uh, yeah, one of the one of the best players on Ultimate Team, I would say. Short pass, 80. Shot power, 87. And volleys, 80. They're the high stats on his uh, skill attributes. So yeah, guys, that is the 85 Lovetsy's player information, and I will see you on the other side for the 86's player information. Yo, I'm back again, surprisingly enough, for the fourth time. And as you can see, I'm on the 86 Lovetsy's player information this time. As you can see, nothing has changed on his actual player information. He's still the same height, <laughs> he still plays in the same position, he still has the same weak foot, and he still has the same skill moves. But as you can see, it does still say he's an 85 overall. I'm not sure why it does that in the game, but he is, this is actually the 86 of that version. So we'll move on to his physical attributes. And as you can see, he has a few... Well, he has 199 now, and I think his uh, acceleration and his agility balance everything on that part, part has been uh, upgraded, apart from his strength and jumping, which I believe are the same to his 85 card. So we will move over to his mental attributes. Nothing else has really changed yet. I think his attacking position has gone up by one. I'm not too sure. I think so. But uh, yeah, pretty much the same on that part. But here's where the big differences come in. As you can see, his ball control is up to a 94. His dribbling is up to a 96 now, which is incredible. His crossing is a 91. His curve is an 85. His finish is an 84. And his free kick accuracy has been bumped up to an 86. In... All in all, he's just a great player, and as you can see, his shot power has gone up by a mile. I think it was in the 80s last time on his 85 card, but it's gone up to a 94 now, and his volleys have gone up by 6'2", which makes the, his up card a much better player overall. So I will see you guys next, well, not next time, but in the next part where I'll be showing you and talking you over some goals and some moves and some maybe free kicks and stuff that I've scored with Lovetsy. So I'll see you guys in a second. 
Hello everybody, I'm back again for the fifth part, and as you can see, at the moment I'm using the 85 Lovetsy's cars, and I'm just showing you a few, few clips that I've had with him. As you can see there, like I said, he does supply the goal, goal scorers, and then there, as you can see, that's his weak foot in display, it's not that good on this card, but on this card it's much better. Here's his dribbling skills, just getting in and out of players, it's lovely, but he does miss shots like that that should be scored. Here are a couple of goals I have scored with him, I think these are the only goals I have scored with him, I think I scored a hat-trick in one game. But they're the only goals I have scored with his 85 card. And in a second, we'll move over to his 86 card. And I just generally think that the 86 card is so much better. He's still got a good shot, as you can see there. But after this clip, we will be moving on to the 86 cards a uh, couple of clips. And as you can see here, his dribbling is just insane. Getting in and out of players, fake shot on inside. And his finesse is absolutely fantastic. Pulling it straight into the back of the net there. And uh, just generally as a beast shot, as you can see from that far out. And his free kicks on this card are so much better compared to his um, 85 card, which is fantastic. As you can see here, displaying his finesse shot, absolutely fantastic. Nearly went in. There's another long shot from Lovetsy. And there's a little goal we scored. That's, that's displaying his um, attacking position. He's always in the right place. And again there, just constantly in the right place to put the ball in the back of the net. Here's his... Uh, Dribbling, I think this is quite a nice clip. He gets in and out of the defenders really nicely. He right about now. Yeah, look, straight in between the defenders. Gets a shot away. And the keeper just luckily saves it. Right, anyway, guys, moving on to his good points and his bad points for both of the cards. His old card, good dribbling. He's an agile player. His skills come off very smooth and they're really nice. Uh, he also has a good shot on him, but his av average long shots, they're okay. They're not as great as his other card. He's very weak on his original card. No... Actually wins nothing in the air. Not great in the air at all. So moving on to the good points for his new card. He feels a hundred times better on the ball. So much more smooth. He pulls off skills a lot better on his new card. Very good, especially because his agility is on a 99. Feels better on the ball, as you see there, like I just said. Amazing on the ball. Great dribbler. Uh, gets in between defenders. Lovely. He has an amazing shot on this card. Absolutely rocket. Like I don't think there's that many clips in here that show you how good his long shot is. But... Trust me, buy his card, have a shot from quite far out. It's bound to at least go on target with some pace. Uh, he feels actually stronger on this card. Even though his strength attribute hasn't changed on his card, he feels a lot stronger on the ball. He can uh, tussle with defenders, win the win the challenge, basically, and uh, seems a lot better. And uh, he wins more in the air. I scored a th few headers with him. I didn't put those in the sort of uh, montage of clips, but, uh, yeah, he, f he wins m many more headers. And, uh, yeah. There is good points and bad points. I will see you on the next side where I will be telling you who is worth it and who you should go for. And the winner is... The 86 Lovetsy. Did you like my sound effects there? Overall, I think he is worth the extra coins. You should definitely go out and spend the money if you have it. Much better player overall, especially with those stats. Look on the screen. 92 pace, an 82 shot, and a 94 dribble. The player is insane, and he's one of my favourite players that I've played with on Ultimate Team, hands down. Fantastic player. So, guys, if this is going to be the end of the video. So, if you enjoyed this video, it took quite a long time to make. It took, like, a day to make to get all the clips, to edit it all together. So, hopefully, you guys enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed making it for you guys. And if you could leave a like, that would be absolutely fantastic. And uh, I'll see you next time for the next player review or comparison. And uh, subscribe. Peace.